Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this video tutorial, we are going to simulate triple five timer. So triple five timer have a three mode, a mono stable mode, which is known as one shot mode, and bi stable mode, and i stable mode. I stable mode is also known as free running mode, and this free running mode is especially used to generate a wave. So let's first search triple five timer, okay, into the analog. So here we need a triple five. We didn't find triple five, so let's search for the LM triple five. Okay, I think uh, we need to search somewhere else so that we can go into the all group and triple five. Fine. So here we have a triple five timer. Either we can see this one or the another one. So click on OK. Just close it. Fine. So here we have a triple five timer. So here we need a capacitor and resistor to complete this circuit. So search capacitor and resistor. So here is resistor and uh, then that's one more thing i want to tell here so i need a capacitor fine here is a capacitor one microfarad okay and then i need a power source so let's take a power source one ground and i need one vcc okay so vcc must be connected at this place that is VCC and ground must be connected with the ground and we need a capacitor at this place to the control and then connect it to this place. So this must be the 10 microfarad. So 10 microfarad means 10 U. And uh, we need to connect RST and the VCC together. Okay. And now we need a resistor from this charge to RST. So connect a resistor. And then we need another resistor. The another resistors must be connected with the discharge pin to the capacitor. Okay, so we need another resistor which is must be connected from this discharge to the another capacitor. So I need another capacitor. Suppose that here uh, I can drag it to this place. I need another capacitor. Okay. Fine, so connect these capacitors and resistor together and then this capacitor must go to the ground. And now we need this threshold and trigger pin to connect at this place and at this one. Fine, now everything is okay. Now we need to see output at this place. So make it to, sorry. Make this resistance value as 2.2k and this resistance value make 22k and this C2 make it 100 nano farad. So now let's put a here oscilloscope. Fine. Now run it. Now if you run it, double click on oscilloscope, here you can see. How it is generating this wave. See? Now if you change the value, Let's change this to the one nano farad and now run it. 
so what we can do we can make it one microfarad to generate the less data okay fine so let's keep it to the same 0.1 microfarad and change this to the 10 kilo ohm and now run it okay now what you can do if you change it to the let's say 10 nanofarad and now see here here okay so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for the next one where we will see how to transfer this simulation into the ultiboard for pcb designing